Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, Carl Summers Uncensored. I am your host, Carl Summers, and as always, we have Derek on the board. What's up, people? And uh, tonight we got a little change up. Uh, Tony Leon wasn't able to make it um, due to uh, some unfortunate circumstances, um, but we do have Howard Dundada Reese, correct? Yes, sir. He is in the house. Uh, Going to talk about his uh, upcoming events and uh, maybe some crazy shit. Be hole licking, man. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Already with the dick and fart jokes. Dick and fart jokes, man. So how's it going, man? It's going pretty good, man. You hanging in there, all right? Yeah, yeah. Trying to. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> yeah, we were we were talking earlier uh, before the show and stuff about uh, all your all your events coming up. You got a big kind of a we'll call it a bang out match coming on. Yeah, yeah. What that is 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 it's it's, it's going to be a fight show, you know, but it's not actually. MMA show is not a boxing, a kickboxing, Muay Thai, none of that. It's just elbows, knees, kicks, takedowns, punches to the face, and stand back up, banging out. You know what I mean? The ring is not going to be that big, small ring where you can't run. You know, I got some top name fighters that's going to fight on it. You know, some they very thirsty. So it's going to be a lot of knockouts. So we're going to need Amlangs there on deck and ready to go with a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the thing like I've seen you fight, they they need a couple three ambulances. Yeah, so. they gonna need them, man. You know, and then I got I got a young a young kid that I train every day, um, <laughs> Brendan Ali. You know, I'm gonna have him come on in the mission, show his technique, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Hopefully, he knocks somebody out. He's only ten years old, but he's a beast. I'm gonna take him off the leash. Oh, he's the one you bring to the gym. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's okay. the one I bring to the gym. I train him every day. Every day I'm training, he's training. You know, and um, it's gonna be a good show. You know, we throwing at the Hilton Hotel. You know what I mean? It's, it's a good environment, you know, so I think it's going to be great. Well, good deal. Now, what, what made you decide to, uh, to to do this event then? Actually, you know, I was, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. You know, I got a lot of following. I got a big crowd, a big fan base, a lot of people that, you know what I mean, look up to me and respect me in the fight game. And um, it's just what my passion at. At first, when I first started, a lot of people wanted me to train them. You know, maybe because they thought I was I was a great fighter and so later, but I I ain't I wasn't a good trainer. I, I'm the type of person that to put gloves on you in the head and beat you up and tell you what you messed up at. Okay. But now you know, over the years I've been training and I've been fighting. You know, now it's just something I like doing. I love training people, showing them the the right way. You know what I mean? The wrong, the, the, the right way and the wrong way. You get what I'm saying? But my stand-up is, is very good, and a lot of people respect my stand-up game. A lot of people come to me ask questions about that. So, you know what I mean? What I learned and what people have taught me, you know, I just want to give back to everybody else. So, you know what I mean? So Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you got any fights coming up in the future? or I just got a call for a fight, you know, um, South Florida. You know what I mean? Um, I'm fighting a dude out of America Top Team. It's not a goal yet. It's not concrete, but we're waiting on a contract to get faxed over. But hopefully, you know... I get the green light on that because I'm ready to knock somebody else out because it's been a long time since I've been in there. And so <laughs> if I if if, if you if you watching this, Chris Hitman, you need to go ahead and give him a phone call. Let me know what time it is because I'm ready to knock somebody out. I've been sitting down too long. After a while, I'm getting fat. <laughs> I, I I don't think you've been getting fat at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about that earlier. You know, you you've been out for what a, a year? You said. About going on a year, man. Wow, and and just to look at you, you wouldn't even remotely look like you've been no, no, been I'm, out of, out of fighting for a year. You know, so you know, I I stay in the gym. Sometimes I don't be in the gym. Sometimes I ride by and look at the gym. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, ride by, look at the gym, and 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 go to McDonald's and get by a double cheeseburger, no pick at Big Mac sauce, small fry, and large sweet tea, about three that times a day. You know what I mean? But. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just because the old girl don't want to cook nothing, but you know, hey, you I never pack it on. I, I'm constantly in shape. You know, you can you can catch me. I ain't trying to put all my business out or nothing like that. But you can catch me riding around my car and behind my tent and window smoking the black a mile, <laughs> <laughs> and, and go to the gym uh, at five o'clock and go thirteen rounds with anybody in there. And they never know I'm out of shape. You know, it's just I guess it's just I'm somehow blessed with is in my genes. You know, right? But as of right now, you know, I'm 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 overdue. You know, I'm 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 ready to fight. You know, I'm the type of person you just can't sit on the sidelines and me watch people play. Put me in the game, coach. You know what I mean? I'm, about to, I'm, I'm on the sideline right now with my he helmet on the, on, on the bench and the shoulder pads on with a coat on, me, begging the coach to put me in. Come on, coach, let's play. I need a fight. <laughs> 
That, that's some funny <laughs> shit. That, now, now let's step back a little bit. And uh, what actually got you uh, wanting to do MMA or just fighting in general? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, so it, it, it you know it, you know it just comes from it just something in my blood. You know, uh, been raised, watch my daddy come up, watch my uncles. You know, I come from a good family, but yet and still. The environment that I grew up in and the people that I, I, I cling on clenched on to as coming up, you know, it's just I've been fighting all my life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just something I was just blessed with. You know what I mean? I'm just a I'm not you're not gonna catch me on a tennis court hitting a tennis ball. You're not gonna catch me on on a basketball slam dunking. Matter of fact, I I'm the probably only black person you know that know how to play basketball. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and, and and I'm not gonna be I'm not trying to be a tiger woods. I'm always been an aggressive person. Right. You know what I mean? You know a lot of people think I take roids. A lot of people think I juice. I never juiced in my life, but but yeah and still I was just blessed with an abnormal strength, you know? And it just I'm I'm a roughneck. You know, I just like to fight. I like to beat people up. I've been fighting in the streets for a long time, you know. So just when I heard about this MMA sport, you know, I was just that's something that I would want to do. And and when I first started, I wasn't as good as I am now. But you know, over the years, I became a beast, an animal. So mm -hmm. you know, I just been fighting all my life, and then just I just found something I can do, hurt somebody, and get paid for. So. But but you don't seem like you know just just you know talking with you or training with you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. You know that. You are just a you know a violent person. You know what no, I'm saying. You you no. seem genuinely uh, a yeah. a great person. You know you're a nice guy. Yeah. But it, when when you know that that cage door shuts, man, it it's it, it it's, it's fucking on. you're putting in the work there. Yeah. And and that that all falls down to like even Coach Joe. You know, right before a lot of people met me and heard of me, they thought I was a jerk. You know what I mean? Oh, he's arrogant. He's a jerk and that whatever else. All of the above, but it's like when you get to know me, you sit down and talk to me. And they, I'm, they always tell me how humble I am. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a very humble person. I'm a nice guy, but it's like when I cage those clothes, it's, I'm zoned out. That one-way tunnel vision. I'm gonna put you out. It's just you're not gonna tap me out. You know what I mean? You're not gonna knock me out. Eventually, everybody get knocked out. Everybody get tapped out. I don't care what level you fighting on. But I'm as of right now. Not if yet. I get a, it's not happening. I don't care if I got to fight today or tomorrow. You in my way. I need a Bentley. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I need. I need a Bentley, man. Well, yeah. I, I I can contest that because that that fight I saw that the uh, the first fight I saw you do uh, OEC. Yeah. You fucking killed that dude. Yeah, I, and, and it looked like you were kind of baiting him in a little bit, and and, and, it, and you just fucking drilled him. And I I don't, I think he's still half retarded, but uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. And you know that that comes down, and and I like to salute Coach Joe for that, because you know, I had a lot of people work my own corner, you know, and I and I, I can I can never forget Tommy Sawyer and T.J. Cook, you know, Tommy the one that brought me in the game, you know, and then um, T.J. the one taught me, you know, what I mean, how to train myself, not to depend on the next person to train, you know, I me mean, to get me prepared for a fight. So, you know, he took a lot of time out with me and made me the person I am today. And um, as cornerman wise you know, he worked a lot of my corners. You know, he's always been there for me, you know what I mean? So I salute him and much respect to him. But, you know, as my last two fights, you know, Coach Joe, you know, even that OC fight you're talking about right now, I always do haymakers. Mm -hmm. You know, I could, you can catch me. I could look like Mike Tyson. And it, 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 the, 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 a class A fighter in the gym, but when it's time to fight action in that cage and that, that door close, my journey get to rush and my technique go out the window. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, with him working my corner, you know what I mean? Actually, I, I, I bonded with him, and even when that fight you're talking about, I came out through uh, <laughs> about two or three hooks from here to, from here to Bellevue. I'm trying, to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to knock him out, you know, and then I heard um, Coach Joe light and fluffy. You know, and I calmed down, relaxed, right, and just picked my shots and and, and just put them out. And easily. it it worked. It, yeah, and it's, it's, it's easy. Even my tempo fight, you know, I knocked dude out in fifty six seconds, and it's just like I threw. I started off with two power shots. He threw a jab, slipped a jab, head kick, slipped on. I, he he missed. I opened up with a right hook, left hook. He jumped guard, hit the ground, you know. And then I heard Coach Joseph um said stuff, put him to the cage and stuff him. That's what I did. Got an arm bar, slammed him. As soon as I slammed me open up, unloaded, 56-second knockout, you know. So, 
it's just the people I work with too. Yeah, you know that, that's great. You know, you know, you're you're really coming up in the in, you know in the in the fight world. Everybody seems to really your name's getting out there. Yes, you know, you're becoming yeah. a big deal, and that that's good stuff. So, who uh who do you look up to? And in, in you know just if if you were to like you know I you know this is who I look up to because I'm the fighter I am today. You know, would that be like you know somebody in your family, like you're saying your dad and your uncles and no, oh, just <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I look up, you know, it's not too many people I actually look up to. You right. Know, my, my father gr- raised me. I'm 26 years old. He's there for me. Always been there for me. Always been in my ear. He made, he, yeah, because he made me an animal, you know. <laughs> and, and, you know, everybody in my, in my, in my family, you know what I mean, on, on my daddy's side, I always been fighters. But if I had to say I look, look up to anyone, you know, it's not too many people I look up to, but I respect a lot of people. And the, the person that got my most respect would, would be TJ Cook. Okay. Followed by Tommy Sawyer, but right out, out of everybody, you know, just me being real about the whole situation, and my passion and my heart go out to him. You know what I mean? It's because he actually took time out when he could have just looked at me and brushed me off, and he believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. I'm okay. talking about I'm th- second round into a fight. Every, a lot of people don't even believe I lost. You know what I'm saying? I took losses before I started winning. Right. You know what I mean? And then sitting in the corner and he see the defeat in my eyes and stuff like that. And he studied believing me when I ain't believing in myself. Right. You know what I mean? And still come out with and still didn't come out with the win. And he still pat me on my shoulder and keep my head high, you know? So I much respect to him on that end. You know? Yeah, I see that in Tommy, you know. And, yeah. and I, I don't know TJ Cook real well. Yeah. But, you know, you can just see it in him. You know, Tommy's really, you know, he, he cares about the people he trains and he's yeah, you know he passionate. backs and he backs and supports you to to, to, to know him yeah yeah you know and and like i said tommy the one made me tj talking about to train myself and led me on tommy the one made me an animal right i'm talking about i took brutal beatings from this guy <laughs> is that back when they were off uh yeah baseline. Road? baseline yeah um tommy tommy's the type of guy he's gonna let you know this is my gym I'm Tommy Sawyer, and I don't care if I'm 60 years old. You, I'm still gonna be able to kick your ass. It's just how Tommy is. You know what I <laughs> mean? And then just he taking punch punches from him, choked out by him, slammed around by him, and I and this this guy I'm talking about getting hit by a, a, a freight train. So when I drop down to 145, 155, I'm smashing these cats. Right. I'm smashing these cats. You know what I mean? That comes from training with bigger guys. You know. Right. So. That's a good deal, though. Yes, sir. So, uh, now, other than fighting, is there anything you do, like, for work, or do you just are you just straight working for fighting? Well. You know, I, I don't know, because yeah. a lot of guys have, like, a second job, because they, they <laughs> yeah. I hate I hate to say this, but they're not making a lot of fucking money fighting, you know, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not taking nothing away from them, it's yeah. just, yeah. it's not really working for them. Actually, at this point in my life, you know, um, I was blessed to find someone, like, a sponsor to Okay. Well, I don't have to work anymore, and I don't have to want for anything, you know. And that, and that, that, my sponsor is um, Ali. I mean, um, Ali Equity, and um, Patricia Equity. That's his wife, you know. And then that's the, that's the dude I, tra- the, the little boy I trained. Okay. That's that's their son, you know. And and they they stepped in and and they sponsored me now, you know. So they make sure I'm good, and I, I thank them for that, you know. But my side hobbies is is Big Macs and French fries. Big Macs and French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Text and Facebook and all day. Let me stop. Um, no, um, actually, you know, um, I'm affiliated with my cousin. We have, a, you know, he came up with it, and um, it's 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 a group with me, him. It's it's we all family, but um, named Trey Out of Star. He rap. You know, it's a group called Dreams Inc. Oh, and, um, okay. You know, that, that that pretty much describes us. Anytime you see me come out to a fight, you're going to see Team Dundada or Dundada on a shirt. You're always going to see Dreams. Dreams, 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 and Dreams Inc. You know what I mean? That's 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 our that's our group. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I represent to the fullest, you know. And, the, you know, I got my hands in the music a little bit, but that's... That's well. I started off at. I started off beating people up and rapping about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beating people up and rapping about it. Kicking ass and singing about and, it. And, and singing about it, you That's know. Funny and that shit. was a. See, see, fighting is, is a way to be blowing off steam. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Girlfriend problems, can't punch in the face, but I can go to the gym and hit this punch bag and beat my homeboy up. You know what I'm saying? Or if not, if that don't work, I can go make a song about it, you know? Right. So, yeah, that's that's what I do on the side. Now, 
obviously the little boy that you train with uh, probably looks up to you as a, as a role model, and I'm sure there are other people out there that, that you know, do that also. Well, how do you feel about that, you know, as, you know, do you, are you, are you blessed about that, you know, like? Yeah, I, honestly, you know, it's, yeah, even my cousin, he could tell you, that would be Trail, you know, but. Trail? Yeah, Trail. But, um, you know, I can go out to eat. I can walk around in the mall. I can go to the gym. Not to even the fighting gym, just the working out gym. Anywhere I go, it's not a day that passed, you know, and, and living in Ocala, Florida, I'm not noticed uh, by somebody, you know what I mean? A lot of people look up to me, the kids in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Everybody look up to me, you know what I mean? And sometimes I used to question myself, like, why, why? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, man, they, you know, like, I'm not this, I'm not that great of a fighter or, you know what I mean? I'm not. 10 and 0, or my record ain't that good, you know, and it's why do they respect me like that, you know, hey, I don't know, maybe it's just how I present myself, you know, but I have a lot of people that actually look up to me, and um, maybe, I don't know, that's that's a very good thing, but um, now, but you, you, you know, the, the kids and stuff, you, you train and stuff, you, you let them know that, you know, you know, the respect of, of others and stuff, you know, all the stuff that, you, you know, you, you probably install in yourself, you know, you, you pass off to. Yeah. The younger generation, right? Yeah, I, I always let them know. You know, it's just time and the place for everything. Like, a lot of a lot of people I know right now that is that is living a wrong life or, or even in the streets, you know, because I ain't, you see me right now, but shoot, a couple of years ago, everything wasn't bread and butter, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You see me right now, I can laugh and kiki with you, but you caught me four or five years ago, I really ready to put you down somewhere. You know what I mean? But I let a lot of people know, you know, it's certain people I train. It's, I train you because your passion is is in the sport, and that's what you want to do for a living. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to train you just to you learn a couple moves, go out there and beat everybody up in the streets. You right. You know what I mean? So I let everybody know, you know what I mean? It's it's If if you train with me, it's, it's got to be a purpose to it. Not just to know it, just to hurt somebody. You Correct, know? and and you see a lot of people doing that. They've come to the gym a few times and, and like want to learn shit. Yeah, and then they go out there and just start trying to thump on people. It's like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you're you're really disrespecting the actually yeah the sport itself for what it's about. Yeah. So and I'm gonna tell you all this too. You know, it's been a lot of MMA fighters getting shot by the police. <laughs> 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 so know what you're doing, but no, you know it just like you say it just it just take the love away from the sport you know mm -hmm. just, to be to be a fighter and to know the technique and utilize it in the ring and, and come out a champion and win and that's that's the best part of it it's it's not to learn it and, and get in the street and beat somebody up that don't even know nothing about it or just kind of like bully that. people it's nothing so. to gain mm -hmm. out of that you know and i've never been that type of person now don't think you're just going to run up on me in the street and punch me in my mouth and not get knocked out is not going to happen <laughs> you know what i mean but i never provoke a fight if it come my way it's, and you know what i mean i have to take care of my business but i'm never that type of person because it's nothing to prove i don't prove myself before i even start a fight in the streets you get what i'm saying right everybody know me you know what i'm saying i've been knocking people at people out ever since when i had huggy diapers on <laughs> you know what i mean so <laughs> i had run around kind of run around in huggy diapers with with, with piss and and and, and and pooping the draws, knocking people out, you know, and, and, and so <laughs> it's nothing to prove no more, you know. You just what can I prove? Or running up on somebody, talking trash about me, and I'm punching them in the face, choking them out, stomping the hell out of them. It's not, it's nothing to prove. So, do you get tested a lot, like out on the streets? Like if you go to clubs or you go somewhere, you know, and there, there's bigger crowds, do people test you at all? You think or? No, I nope. go to the club highly respected. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, highly. Respected. But I didn't know if there's yeah. some like chucklehead in there. They're like, oh, I think I can take him. Yeah, it, it, you I, can try. <laughs> I, I don't had situations like that, and then just be like, you know, who you talking to, and that, that's a, that's a dude to be fighting. You know, I'm highly respected. You know, in any community. You know what I mean? And and you know what I mean? Whites, blacks, Puerto Rican. Right. I, I, yeah, I don't care who you are. I'm highly respected. And I walk in the club, and it's just like high five hands hand slaps and hugs you get what i'm saying you know, right it just i'm highly respected you know what i mean sometimes and that all falls down to this right here i used to be like i'm very overrated you know what i mean like wow these people they, they really look up to me they respect me to the fullest but like i'm not that good you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. it was this insecurity of myself you know what i mean i was dealing with and i'm like why did everybody respect me like that you know and 
and uphold me to this to be this great fighter that I am. I just feel like I was overrated. Right. You know what I mean? But yet still, who gonna beat me right now? <laughs> and, and, and and you know the people believe in you. That that's a yeah. big thing. You know, regardless of of what your record is, and yeah, not saying my record's uh, bad enough. No, no, <laughs> no. But you know, you're saying you know you're, 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 you're well, you're saying you know you're like I'm not that great, but yeah. obviously you are to have enough people out there to to really like holy shit that that's Dundada. You know, yeah. you know because yeah. people people when I was telling them today about the show, they're like oh no shit, and I'm like yeah, they're like oh fuck, I'm like it's last minute, but yeah. check out the show because it, yeah. it, it it's him. It, it yeah. I have nothing but respect for you, and not yeah. just because you beat my ass in the gym, but the <laughs> fact that, <laughs> and, and I don't need you beating my ass on the show, show yeah, but yeah. look at this show, I mean, I'm a fat white guy, but, <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know, the fact that, that you know, you you can pretty much just destroy anything in your way, but you yes, choose yeah. to to head it off and, and, and be, you know, the bigger person, and, yeah. and, and not just run around and just, you know... Get no, get no. real stupid about shit. You know, you handle your business and you, you're real smart about it. Very. You're like, like you were saying, you know, a few years ago, you were just take somebody out and it, it's yeah. no big deal. But yeah. it, it, you've matured yeah. as a person and as a fighter to know the difference. And I think that's where Tommy and TJ and, yeah. and Joe and everybody yeah. come into play yeah. with that. Yeah. And it's and it, and it just like learning from other people's mistakes. You know, you know, I've seen a lot of fighters like even TJ Cook. You know, I felt that he posed being in the UFC. Uh, years ago, you know, I felt Tommy should have been a top UFC fighter, you know, even Crazy Horse. Everybody had their struggles. Well, that guy's fucking nuts, man. Yeah, I know. And everybody had their struggles, and everybody go through hard times, but you got to, you. when it's your time, it's your time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you don't jump on that 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 bus when it's ready to go, you're going to miss it. Exactly. You know, and, and, and I'm sat, not saying anything bad about anybody. And matter of fact, that's for myself, you know. Two years done pass, and I done sat around and just let it pass. You get what I'm saying? But yet, and still, the spotlight is still on me. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's it's still on me, but the bus is right in front of me right now, and I'm not getting on it. You know what I mean? So if I don't if I don't get on that bus and it pull off, I'm gonna be just like everybody else. Right. You know what I mean? And a lot of people say they feel like honestly, I hear this all the time. I'm gonna be the first one to actually make it to the UFC out of Ocala and stuff like that. But I was that opportunity hadn't haven't been brought to me yet. But when it when it do, nobody's stopping me right now. Right. Now, are you, are you looking that far ahead? You know, or are you just kind of like, you know, I, I, we understand you want to get back in the fight, and that, that's kind of where you're focused at. You want to yeah. fight, and you want to, you know, start start doing that. But, you know, is there, a like, a future goal? Like, this is See, where I want to be? This, or This is how I look at the whole fight. Okay. <clears throat> when you're an amateur fighter, you're playing high school football. Okay? Right. When you turn pro, you're playing college ball. Right now, I'm a pro professional fighter, so I'm playing college ball. So now I got to get drafted to the NFL. Mm -hmm. NFL is Bellator, you know, UFC, you know, and that's my goal. And it's not a day that pass. I'm not riding down the road listening to Plies, Armstrong, Future, <laughs> Rick Ross. My song come on. Ooh, this is a good song to come out to. Boom, we ride it. And I, I, just, I just think about it every day, me coming out. Exactly. My, my, my homeboys behind me, you get what I'm saying, to that title fight. I don't even care about the title fight right now. It's just the whole pr point of getting to. Getting to the show. Getting to the show, you know. And it's just like a lot of people can talk, you know what I mean. You hear words, whatever, but they don't mean anything. But, like, everything I say I'm very sincere about. And nobody's going to stop me. But at you, all. right? But me, I'm you, you. A lot of people gotta understand. You is your biggest enemy. Exactly. You know what I mean. And as of right now, I'm my biggest enemy because it's I can't. Bl I don't point no finger at nobody else of my faults and why I'm not fighting and stuff like that. Because a lot of stuff I could be doing myself and I'm not doing. You know what I mean. So it, it all boils down to myself too. I need to get on my grind. But you know. Nobody's gonna stop me. And I mm -hmm. really mean that. You yeah. Know? I don't care who you is. One fifty five, one forty five, up to two hundred five. We can bang. You, you get what I'm saying? Even throwing some heavyweights in there, like one sixty five. Listen here, man. Put your money where you might. We can bang. I don't. I don't. I li listen. Live with honor and feel nothing. I, I'm banging. I like that. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, live on and feel nothing. Then okay, that. I'm stealing that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright yeah. him, Carl Summers Uncensored. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna get and that tatted on my back. <laughs> hey, 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 get it. You know what I mean. But like, that's the I'm thing. Do that. get that's the, make that your tramp stamp. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> that, that, that's right, now. That's right. now I got a quick question for you. Go ahead. Um, you 
you talking about all the weight classes? Him out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, um, what weight class are you comfortable fighting at? All right. That's a good question. You know, a lot of people see me. I could walk in the gym 155, 149, whatever, 150. And I can score off with a 205 guy, 225, and throw him around, choke him out, body slam him, knock him out, anything yes. I'm capable of doing. But the only thing is, it is when I go up in a weight class and fight a bigger guy, I, I, can't, I don't care what type of shape I'm in. It's hard to push that weight around for a long period of time. But give me one round with any guy, I don't care what size it is, I'm going to bang with him. You know what I'm saying? But... A lot of people be like, they look at me as a 155-pound fighter, and they be like, well, if Howard could dominate the 155-pound fighters, imagine what he'll do when he go to 145. They got to understand this. When I get dropped down to 145, I lose my strength, it seems like. You know, I'm not as strong. I'm not as healthy. I'm fast, but I'm a, just another, I feel, another typical 145-pound fighter. But put me at 155, you know, it just sky's the limit you know i'm healthy i'm bigger i'm stronger because i'm gonna win at 155 but the day of the fight i'm way heavier than that oh yeah you know what i mean so my my, my weight class and i love to fight as 155 but hey if i gotta go to 145 i'm gonna get a doctor on my side and we're gonna diet and we're gonna get it right <laughs> so I, I don't care what weight class i gotta get i don't care if i gotta go up well i, I could contest to watch you know watching you fight bigger guys and you know even just training with them it, it you you don't look like you're struggling with any weight class. It just no. it just at the size you are now, you know. Yeah. You are a big one, you know. Yeah. What, what are you, like 150 right now? No, man. I'm like 140, 150. Okay. That's solid, right? Yeah, he solid, is. And, yeah. and like that time we grappled in the gym, man, you were like to rip my fucking head off. <laughs> I, it was everything I could to get you off. And then yeah. I had to stand up. You're like, don't jump, don't <laughs> jump, don't jump. <laughs> I thought you were going to fall back. Oh, man, I was going to flip. I was yeah. like, God damn, I was about the only way I can get him off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you know, that goes down to what we were talking about before the show even started, you know, a lot of people say, get them to the ground, you can choke them out, because they never see me on my back, they never see me on the ground, so therefore, they, they, they overlook my ground game, you know, and I'm not going to lie, I'm, 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 I don't have no belts, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ranked. But yet and still, it doesn't. You know that doesn't matter at this it, point. It you know, don't matter. Now, if, it, if if you were like into jujitsu tournaments, yeah, then it'd be a little different. It'd be a little different. But you know, my transition, I got a very good hips off the ground. Now I can, now, hey, you put me there. It's not nowhere you can put at this point of my fighting career. There ain't no spot you can put me. I'm not comfortable. You know, like I mean? somebody could attack you on the shitter. I'm a uh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm be very uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me wipe first. Let me wipe first. Nah, man, you catch me. You catch me in the bathroom. You got it. You can beat the hell out of me. I'm embarrassed too. <laughs> like, yeah, but like so. we were saying, you know, you yeah. you seem really comfortable no matter where you're at, on your back or on top, you know. Mm -hmm. But but you are a stand up fighter. That's where you choose to be. Oh shit, yeah. beating that up. But <laughs> you gotta drop the dick. Come on. Yeah, man. I I choose to stand up. You mm -hmm. know because like. Every person I ever knocked out come from a right hand. I mean, left hand. I'm right-handed. So, therefore, if you are fighting, you know anything about the fight game, when you squat off with a person, you're going to check his leg, his stance. If his left leg out in front, what is he? He's right-handed. Mm -hmm. Right leg out in front, he's left-handed. So, when they check my stance, they automatically circle to the left hand side. Not Walk knowing, right into it. Not knowing I could throw that left just as hard as that right, you know. So, all my knockouts come from my left hand, you know. So... I'm a stand-up fighter. I feel that like all my fights in. It take one punch for me to knock you out. Oh yeah. I, I don't care who you are. I'm I'm 155, but I'm hitting like a 205 any day. Mm-hmm. Any day. You get what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It, it, it's, but you're solid though. That that's yeah. the crazy thing. And, yeah. and I've I've been hit with you, and I've been you know it mm -hmm. it fucking hurts. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah. And and, yeah. and that's why I'm excited. You know, when you're on the show tonight, you know, when Joe told me you were coming on, I was yeah. like, oh shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. And and I again, I want to say thanks for taking this on short notice, and I'll definitely have you back on. Yeah, you know, no if problem, if you'd no love problem. to be back, this is great. You know, we'll we'll get we'll get your cousin on. Yeah, yeah. He ain't he, he shy. He ain't shy, but he. We want the spotlight to be on me, but it's a group thing. Though, That's you know? it. It's a group thing. I'm the one, you know. We if if I don't make it knocking 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 him out, he better make it rapping or or, <laughs> or, or some. So we we gotta do something. I can't, you know what I mean? Yo, why don't you give us a little taste, man? You can come yeah, over here and sit down, come on, man. Come on, <laughs> come don't on, don't be shy. Run. Get over here. Put on them headphones right there. There you go. He come, y'all. 
T Wheels, Trey all the stuff, man. Yeah, they are my cousins, man. You know, we all grew we all grew up together, man. You know, and uh, everything we do, we do together. It's, right. It's it's, it's it's not just about Dundada. It's a, it's a, it's a movement. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and you know, I got like, I, I honestly, man, I got as me being a black person. And I'm gonna take it here. I'm gonna take it here. I'm gonna take it here. Gonna take it here. With me being black, and 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 and, and, and you know what I mean, like. It's hard as a, in living in my city to get your own people to how, what can I say to support you. Right. You get what I'm saying? And 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 you know and like I can honestly say my city ride for me, man. Like they honestly ride for me, man. Whatever I do, I go on Facebook and and post sitting on the toilet and <laughs> get sixty or hundred likes. You know what I mean? Uh, like like when you were going to church on Easter Sunday, like Easter get Sunday. my Jesus on. Yeah. Like 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 like. Over hundred. And, and, and I admit, I was like like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is because they know me, you know, and and it's just like they know what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm I'm a genuine person, you know. And like I said, this is a movement. You know what I mean? And like with with, with like what what what, what we got. Going on, you know what I mean? We just trying to take it to the top. From we say from the stage, that's him. The rap from the stage to the cage, you know what I mean? I'm a done daughter. I, th- I think you're sitting on his cord, man. Man, get your cord right, man. You messing up the show. Messing up the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I honestly believe, you know, and and I'm not I'm not kissing anybody's ass. I just truly believe in what you're doing. Yeah. That you're gonna go. You're gonna go. Well, far with this you know yeah, I, as, as far as you want it to go honestly yeah. because like you're saying you're your own enemy you can only do do for you you know you can't yeah. really rely on nobody else I can't you know and and i'm not saying nothing bad about families and stuff because you know families are tight but a lot of times man you know you yeah. you still got to do for you you know your family only wants to yeah sometimes at, you know ride along at, and i'm not saying end, nothing about anything but yeah. at the end of the day man a, a person of this caliber man is just he one handshake away Exactly. I mean, that's, that's, sometimes when you when you have a certain amount of talent, it's it's about putting yourself in a position to be seen and you know meet the right people, and that that's the only thing with him because he's ready. Yeah, he's ready. I'm oh, he, I, he he can go in UFC right now. I believe he could go to and, tryouts right now, yeah, and and they yeah. would just look at you and 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 watch a couple of things and be like, "Yup, yeah. you're on." Yeah. And yeah. then you would just have to you know knock a motherfucker out to get in the house because yeah. that's, that's just technique. You know, that's yeah. just mm-hmm. technically you got to do something like that. But you know. I'm saying, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna sit back and watch yeah. you go. And so. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, you and know. take credit that I know you. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, everybody, come along for the ride, you know. But I'm gonna say it like this, you know, I, I done been the amateur fights, I done been the pro fights, and I done been backstage, and I done as an amateur now, I done been backstage, and I done seen pro fighters when I was amateur shaking up. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, it, it, it's nothing wrong to be kind of, you know, iffy about your fight, whatever, you know, what I mean. But, like, shaking up, you know what I mean, kind of scared, don't know what the outcome going to be, you know. But I can honestly say I've never really been like that, you know, because, like, I come from, okay, you call me, you said something that I ain't like, I don't like you, I got my homeboys, they got their homeboys, he probably got a chopper with 100, 100 rounds in it, he probably got a full five, he got 30 people over there, we got about 20 over here, you get what I'm saying, and me and you in the middle fighting. You get what I'm saying? I don't fall in situations like that as growing up, you know? I It, it just... It's you know, the, the biggest thing with him, like I said, I, yeah. can, I can concur to the fact that yeah. he um he fillers, man. Yeah, he I'm fillers. This yeah. dude could be 300 pounds. He's going to yeah. go in there and fight. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to fight. And I'm looking at him like, bro. Yeah. That's 300 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you like, and, and then like, and like, like, that's what I'm saying. And then that's why when, I'm, when, when I tell the guys backstage, like, when I'm backstage preparing for a fight, they're looking at me. Everybody got their headphones on listening to their music. I don't need any of that. I don't need you to call me, wish me good luck, or say, I don't need that. You know what I mean? Because I got, first of all, when you got God on your side, ain't nobody going to, mm-hmm. you know, ain't nobody could touch you. You know what I mean? And it's just like the, the situations that I don't fall in that's coming up. When I case door closed, I got a referee. I got m ms out there. I got my family out there. You know what I mean? And it's just one man standing in front of me. That's the most safest environment to ever fight in. Mm-hmm. So why the hell should I fear him? Why should I be scared of him? And I'm, no yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So that's that's how I see the fight. You'll never see me back stay, and, stay shook or scared of anybody. And he's never he and he hasn't trained as hard as you. No, that, no. I I honestly I I don't think yeah it you know well 
Uh, knowing, knowing him personally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say with the McDonald's and the fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, like ahead. I always tell him, I, I tell him, man, is, you know, while, while, while you sleep, having a dream, somebody out chasing theirs. You know what I mean? Mm. At the end of the day, it, it comes down to that hard work and dedication, man. And you got these motherfuckers running up underwater and climbing mountains and eating good and all that stuff. And, and I'm beating that, them. Yeah. <laughs> your beat. All that stuff, all that stuff pay off, man. Yes, he he pretty do. much come in there off just the natural talent and the abilities that he have. And I'm telling man, look, if you dedicate yourself a hundred percent, man, yeah. it's gonna pay off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and it'll put us in that position where like I said, you see him fight. I mean, when he when he walk out there, the fucking whole crowd gonna stand up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, well, and you know that dude, if he knows anything about you, in the back of his head, he's like, "Why the fuck did I yeah, do this?" Yeah, but you know, I'm not saying because because uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, you know, I like like you, you know, I would take a fight, but in the back of my head, sometimes like, "Oh, son of a bitch, what did I think?" You know, yeah. but that's just my own insecurities and shit. Like yeah. like my first fight, I I lost my very yeah. first fight. Yeah, and you know, I I can't chalk it up to anything, but but me, you know. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, I'm all like, "Shit, I could have done this. I could have done that." And but I, I can honestly tell you, man, he's my witness. I don't care if they gonna put a lion. Don't do it. But I don't care if they put a lion in the cage with me. I'm gonna take the fight. And he, he gonna bite his fucking toes off. I'm gonna try. He might probably get eaten. You get what I'm saying? But like, I'm gonna take that fight. And he's my witness. It's no. It's I'm not fearing anything. Mm-hmm. Any man. You get what I'm saying? But I always tell you though, is it's somebody out there that feels the same fucking way you. Well, bang out. <laughs> Bang guy, I'm waiting on you. Give him a call. We'll, we'll set this shit up. We can set it up. We can fight on my my, my card I got coming up. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care. I don't see man. It's it's no it's nothing. It's nobody gonna stand in my way to getting where I need to go. And he told me that. I lost two fights in a row. As I am, it wasn't even one fight. And he told me, he said, man, look at this dude. Look can this dude whoop you in the streets? He said, can he whoop you in the streets? I looked at him. I said, no. You get what I'm saying? So why the hell you letting him beat you in this cage? <laughs> Okay. Knock them. I'm, I knocked them out. Okay. My, 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 my the fight, the OEC fight. Okay. He called me, arguing with me on the phone. Not arguing. Told me shut up. I'm trying to tell him shut up. And you know, like, I listen. And this, this, this why he got to do sent to the hospital. And he told me straight up, this dude in the fucking way. <laughs> that word. This dude in the fucking way. Get him out the way. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he get, left on the stretch. And he left on the stretch. <laughs> oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? And even the weigh-ins, I was weighing in with this guy. You probably don't believe him. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. He said, you jack. I said, you in the way. He said, what? I said, you in the way. I said, I need a house. I need a Bentley. I need a lot more money than what I got now. He looked at me and said, it's not my problem. I said, it is your problem. You're in the way. He said, well, we're about to find out. He said, we are. <laughs> And he got sent to the... And the motherfucker woke up like two days later. Two days later. Yeah. <laughs> that was... I have, to, I have to admit, that was the sickest fucking... I'll, I'll watch that fight on YouTube. I'm like, yeah. oh, here. I mean, my wife come in my office, man. I'm like, honey, yeah. hey, hey, check this shit out. Let's hey, Watch it. Don't fucking blink. And yeah. she's like, what? She's like, oh, shit. I'm like, you. Yep. And the <laughs> only thing I don't like about the video that's on YouTube is the, the damn angle. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. There's like a fucking post in the way. Right yeah. Oh, man. Because even when I... I was running the cage that. door on that fucking fight. Oh. So, oh, so, so I seen it like, oh, Christ and, almighty. And another, another thing, too, a lot of people don't see in the video when I hit him with that left hook. I, ain't, I actually hit him with a couple ground and pound shots. But let me tell you, you this. You got so four in. I counted. You hit him four fucking times before the ref fucking even stopped. I was like... Well, he's gonna kill this yeah, But even that, even then, I hit him with a left hook and then connect. Yeah. I connected. That's why when you watch the video, go watch the video. It looked like I don't even hit him because I be- barely grazed him. And for me to throw a punch and barely graze somebody like that on their chin and, and do the damage that I did, come on, you do the math. Now, now, do you ever like? I, I know before a fight, you probably like you know this guy's in your way and and yeah. he's you know. But after the fight, is it is it squash at that point? And you guys are like, hey, or or do you kind of? Because some people, you know, kind of carry that with them, like, no. fuck you, you know? No, the thing about me and a lot of people pat me on the back about this, my attitude. Mm-hmm. You know? It just, before the fight, don't talk to me. Exactly. Way ins, don't talk to me. I'm not trying to hear anything you got to say. I'm not trying to be your friend or none of that. And that's why I never fight anybody that, like, Dex, Jared, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Put money on the line. I love you guys, but we got to fight. You get what I'm saying? Because you need a Bentley. I need a Bentley. You know, but like a lot of the guys I grew grew up in the fight world with, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight them. You get what I'm saying? Because it's, it's 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 
it's it's you know we it's chemistry not chemistry hell no but it's just like we just we just grew it's like yeah that, family yeah it's like family <laughs> you get what I'm saying like my that's my fight family you know what I mean and it's just like I just can't sit on the other side of the cage watching this guy staring in his eyes you get what I'm saying and 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 cock cock back and try to knock his head off you get what I'm saying right. just I don't want to see when I fight you I don't want to take no pity on you you get what I'm saying likewise. And that's and but like a lot of these guys, man, I fight, man. You don't talk to me. Let's just fight afterwards. Let's go get drunk. Well, let's do something. You know, so we can be best friends afterwards. Right. I that's never. That's the wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> I come bring him flowers at, uh, yeah. when he wakes up. Can you give him those? Yeah, you know what I mean. And then, give, then, give it to him through the tube. Yeah. High, high, high. <laughs> <laughs> Double shot in there. <laughs> no, and then, it, it, even after that fight, I knocked the guy. I always see. They say, do you? They, they they say, do you ever feel bad about? The damage you do, not tell him. No, no, that's the business, man. That's yeah, the business that's... of it. And then if he had opportunity, he would do the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. He signed up for it. He signed up for it. Now, is there one guy out there? Because I've asked like Jared and the other guys this. Mm-hmm. One guy you could fight. Anybody. Who would you fight? As of right now? Right now. Like if, if they if, if that motherfucker walked right in the door right now, we'd go out in the grass and you just beat the shit out of him. In the, as, as a anybody. Like, M- 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 MMA fighter? Anybody. Oh man, I got this a long list. Oh, woo. It, it could be it could be you know George from fucking grade school or <laughs> oh man oh uh, Lord um the number one guy nah I'm <laughs> I, 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 I'm a, I'm honestly say like I don't at this point right now I don't have nobody right that I I, I feel that way way about you know but if I did I already beat him up so. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, <laughs> I'm lying. No, I'm, I'm not lying. Yeah. Yeah. He know that. If, 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 you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a great. This guy that's sitting in front of y'all right now is a whole different. I did a three sixty in my life, you know. And then, but yeah, and still, don't never get it wrong. Don't get it twisted at all. I still got that side in me, but like, don't poke the bears. Is that what you're saying? Please don't do it because <laughs> the bear might bite your head off. <laughs> you know. But no, if I had a problem with anybody, you know, I just I would. have Took care of that, but you know what I mean. As me being a, a father and a grown and grown up, you know what I mean. It's just a lot of ways to handle things, and I'm just not gonna put my hands on nobody like that. But don't push me. Right. I do it. Now, is there anybody you'd want to fight for? Like, let's say, like if if you had to fight one guy to get into the UFC, let's say that that was your shot. You had to fight one guy. Who would you pick? Just random pick somebody. Yeah, pick somebody. I'm gonna tell you like this. Um. As me growing up in Ocala and coming up in Ocala, <laughs> and I love you to death, I love you to death, but um, I honestly think every time somebody say Dundada, what they say? Crazy horse. Every time somebody oh, say Dundada, every time somebody say Crazy horse, what they say? Dundada. So I always felt like, you know. So that's kind of a super it's fight. It's kind of like the old versus the new type thing. Yeah, okay. That's the old versus yeah. the new, you know, mm-hmm. you know, and I honestly think, you know what I mean, we got to I respect him to the fullest. Respect me. We can actually fight and, and and get out the cage and get drunk as hell. You know what I mean? But I honestly feel like that's something that, that Ocala been really waiting on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Due to the circumstances of what's going on right now, you know, maybe that, that may, may never happen no time soon. And, and by the time he's done dealing with what he's, what, he's, what, he's, what he's dealing with, I may be far gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I honestly feel like that's something Ocala <clears throat> was waiting to see. And I, I'm not doing it because of any animosity between between each other. I, I was just going to do it. It would just be a good fight. It would just would have been something that Cal You think it see. would test you? You think he could test, like, all your skills or just maybe just your stand-up? Because I, I sparred with him one time. The first time I ever sparred with Crazy Horse, he's like, we we're, we're fucking just, just going. And he goes, is that as hard as you can hit? And I'm like, no. He goes, I bet it is. Thank, th- thank and I fucking thank just drilled him. And he's like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah, oh, the, shit. The thing about Kid Chaos is... Kid Chaos. Yeah, I got I got to call him. I'm sorry. I even call you crazy horse. Crazy horse. When you see this, you kick chaos. I call you call him crazy. I mean, crazy horse in the gym. You get mad. Yeah, it's kick chaos. Get, uh, get we, chaos. Oh. Me and Joe went up there when he was uh, when he was fighting in Jacksonville. Yeah. And uh, we were working the. I was working the door and Joe was cornering him. Yeah. And uh, that motherfucker, he's I I always seen him fight on like YouTube and TV. Yeah. But then watching him live. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! And and then and I, I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up, but like, oh, we got about 15 minutes. I just need to throw out some spawn. Okay, okay, but go ahead, man. Okay, but it's like putting us together. You know, I got great hips, and but he got great hips. Mm-hmm. You know, to 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 compare us together, you know, our wrestling is somewhat the same, 
our ground game is somewhat the same. His hips is better than mine. He's mm -hmm. transitioning on his hips. I got to give him his band better than mine. His take down the fence, well, he would struggle. I feel he would struggle taking me down. Okay. Stand up wise, no. If he had to stand up and bang with me, with him and make gloves, it'd be a, it'd be a, a done little, daughter. It'd be a done daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if he can get me to my back, it, I don't know where the, which way that fight to go because every time Crazy was getting me to my back, we it, it's like two brothers, two two brothers. I'm wrestling myself in that cage. Okay. So, but stand up wise, it'll be it'll be it'll be. Bad. Now let, let's talk real quick um, about your 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 big fight event that's coming up. Okay. Um, you know some of the guys you want you know to really put out there. And, as a, as a because you were talking earlier about like you know they're, when we get them on the show. Yeah. There'll be some shit talking and, oh, and shit like I'll, I'll need you in here to referee yeah. that shit though. Listen, <laughs> this show right here. Okay, we pretty much talked about Dundada. But next time y'all see him on the show, y'all, everybody need to tune in because we may need some security in here because it might be a fight. Because the guys I got, the biggest fight I got coming up right now is my cousin. And um, I actually, you know, Dundada, Team Dundada, I want to put my own fight team together. And uh, and he's my top fighter right now. And he's going to knock somebody out. Right. Watching him fight is just like watching me fight. Okay. You know what I mean? That's my top fighter as of right now. You know what I mean? As it, then I'm steady putting the fight card together. Mm -hmm. So next time y'all see me, I have more names and I have them here with me and introduce them a lot more. You know, because right now it's still early. Be basically, the overall perspective of the show that um, the way I outlook the whole situation is basically when you have like a UFC event, like mm -hmm. you can only name a few MAA fighters in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Like you got a lot of dudes <clears throat> under the radar because now let's go back to wrestling. You understand, like wrestling became more like a soap opera that kept you interested in suspense. It's a man soap event. opera. It, basically, that's what, and, th and that's what we're trying to do with this one as far as with the filming. It's going to be more of like a reality show type thing going okay. on. And it's going to keep the suspense going until the actual event. So that, that, that's, that's but there's nothing big. fake once they get in the ring. No, no ain't nothing fake. fake. <laughs> and, and pretty much what he's saying is like it's professionally recorded. It, you can look it on YouTube, Facebook. It's a mini movie. Okay. It's not. It's, it's, it's you're gonna see a mini movie. People get knocked out. People get slammed. People hear mitts. Um, interviews. They talking trash about each other every week. All the following, all the way up to the fight. So it's gonna be somewhat like a reality show. Okay. All the way up to the Build, fight. Just building the suspense, man. It's, okay. It's all Keeping it them ready for you know it. I mean, I feel that's something a lot of dudes that those fight shows they advertise by posters and stuff like that, but they and commercials, but they don't do it the way I'm doing it. Okay. So actually, I'm gonna be like a reality show leading mm. up to the fight. You know what I mean? You can actually see these guys in action talking trash about each other. You know what I mean? It's going to be posted every week. You know what I mean? And that's something that, I feel, like I said, I feel a lot of people ain't do. But it's going to be a great show. And then, we, like I said, we I talked to the guy today. We had a meeting with um, the um, GM of the Hilton Hotel. And um, he's pretty much giving me two thumbs up. So that's what we're throwing at. And it's going to be a great show. And another thing, too, when you're throwing punches, just boxing, throwing kicks, Punches, just kickboxing, knees, elbows, whatever, move, tie, takedown. You put all together, this MMA. Mine is just elbows, knees, punches, and takedowns. And call it whatever you want to call it. We call it banging out. Banging out. <laughs> Bang out. Yeah, three now, by two bangers. Now, is it going to be a little different for you going from fighter to maybe promoter or, or, or you know, whatever hat you're wearing at that point? No. Not I, really? I, I honestly feel like since I didn't fight, I love the sport so much. I hate the politics side, but I got into the politics. Correct. Side. So, you know what I mean. So with me, you almost with, couldn't avoid it though. I, you, you can't. You know, and with you, with actually me being a fighter, it's best to learn the politics side of the sport because if not, you don't know anything. Right. And I want to be able to run my own career, not just depending on my manager or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> you know, and 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 so I, I always wanted my own show. You know, and so now. I'm in the process of doing it. You know what I mean? I'm making big, big moves of doing it. You know? Right. Hopefully, I can turn it not just a fight show, a reality show. That's what I'm really shooting right. for. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, yeah. yeah. So, is there any... Okay, yeah, we'll wrap that up. Uh, is there anybody you want to, you know, like sponsors or, you know, any any websites you want to throw out there real quick? People come ahead, check you out. first. Yeah, definitely. We we haven't heard nothing from you. Go first. Oh, like I said, man, I was here for more support, Well, man. yeah, but you know what? You know, just, fuck it. You're here. Good, yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> How, how can I even start? Man? Yeah, website. Honestly. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, 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 Alicia. There you Get go. Man. Uh, hey, hey, girl, old lady. You can't say no name. <laughs> follow, uh, <laughs> follow, follow me uh, on Twitter <laughs> at Trey Autostar. Um, Reverb Nation. Yeah. Trey Autostar. Everything pretty much Trey Autostar. Instagram. Yeah. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? The movement is Dreams INC, Dreams yeah. Incorporated, Dreams which Incorporated. is an acronym. Dreams realize every time accomplishments meet success, yeah. man. You know. Say it again. Say it again. Dreams realize every time accomplishments meet success. That's the you Dreams know. INC. That, that's Dreams Incorporated. And you believe that? I, yes, I believe in it, man. Wholeheartedly. Yes, oh, yeah. Wholeheartedly. I believe in it, man. There you go. You, you got to believe if you want it to happen, man. Exactly. You can't, you know, <laughs> just saying, you can't just sit around and, and hope and, you know, hope in one hand, yeah. shit in the other, see which yeah. one fills up, right? Yeah. And I got, you know, I just want to you know what i mean say thanks to one person you know and that's uh patricia equity and ali equity because it weren't for them you know what I, mean? I wouldn't be in the spot i am now that's my power sponsor i don't just say sponsor it's my power sponsor i'd like to give a shout out to gator dark side because that's my first sponsor i ever had you know what i mean and um hey the sky's the limit and we we appreciate y'all man for uh, yeah the opportunity. oh sure anytime man, man. this yeah. is this is a uh, free promotion Free promotion. You can never man. turn down free promotion, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. And with all, all that said, Dun Dada, aka Heart Punch in the Dream. What you I tell them, D. Walking down the boulevard of broken dreams. Try to fly, and niggas want you with a broken, broken wing. wing. Try to shine. These niggas shooting out your light bulbs. Oh, uh, man. Welcome to the life of a nigga with a dream. In an attitude, so when I speak with aggression, now nah, I ain't mad at you. It's the feeling of seeing these other niggas get ahead when you know damn well that they should be coming after you. Good thing is worth waiting for, but if you got a misconception of good, then you don't know what you're waiting for. That's why I'm on my knees praying for direction and protection, cause them demons been trying to take me though. Uh, I close my eyes and I reminisce, yeah. What the top gon' feel like, uh, but if I make it up there with the wrong people, tell me how the fuck it supposed to feel right. Dreams I see, see man. man. Trail yeah. stuff. Awesome. That's great, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. That's an exclusive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, man. Every yeah. damn star is born, man. Just, just a teaser for what, what you got just going on, right? Just a teaser, man. That's, that's, that's good shit. shit. From the stage two, to the Two percent of what I do. Sweet. Now, <laughs> now, now, um, plug that Make it quick. Oh, sorry about that, man. I'm, let me put the dick back in my mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, tell them how they can see that video on YouTube of you knocking homeboy out at the Yeah, you go to YouTube, Howard, um, H-O-W-A-R-D, Dun, D-U-N, Dada, D-A-D-A, Reese, R-E-E-C-E. And you go to YouTube, type that in, and everything come up. You know what I mean? So, Yo, for real, everybody watch that. Dude knocked him out. He ain't wake up till two days later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you to the Wing House on, uh, in Ocala for uh, sponsoring our dinner tonight. Chad over there at the Wing House, 2145 Southeast Silver Springs Boulevard. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out the Swervy Jones Show tomorrow night for some dumb, funny fuckery and, uh, or funkery. I can't read his fucking handwriting. Uh, tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, he's going to have Bruce V and, and uh, Chuck Carson, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, on the show, it should be a really good time. Swerve's always got something good going on. And uh, don't forget to check out realrebelclothing.spreadshirt.com for all your Real Rebel clothing. And uh, Kika Productions for all your video needs. She'll videotape the shit out of whatever you need. <laughs> That's my wife. So. Plug that <laughs> shit. Plug that shit, buddy. Plug that shit. But definitely, man, I, I do appreciate you uh, coming on and, and yeah. filling in, man. It was I was I was so excited today when yeah. Coach Joe called me. He was like, "Yeah, Howard's coming." On. I was like, yeah. "Fuck yes!" Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, we'll have you back on for uh, for your promotion, and we'll, yes, we'll promote the piss out of it, man. Yes, so sir. hopefully, you know, you got a big following, so it yes, it's huge. Yeah. We should we should get a lot of hits on that show. Oh, got you. It's gonna be something to watch. Y'all tune in for that show, man. It's going to be bad. <laughs> now we're looking, Derek. Uh, five minutes. Bro. Oh, shit. Sing oh, some more. Well. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> check this out. Everybody check out the move. Oh, the shit. Week. Yeah, I forgot Coach Joe's move of the week. I was still interested in what Howard's got. Yeah, yeah check it out, man, real quick. Hey, what's up? This is uh, Coach Joe here in Ocala. Uh, that the new team drama with uh, one of my, my students here, Kyle. I'm going to show you guys a uh, college joke from guard today. And um, let me just peel over here. I'm laying my back. All right, essentially what it is, you guys, you get like this. What you're going to make them think is that you're going to end up setting up a sweep or an arm bar, okay? And, and with that being said, <laughs> what you're going to do is, is look, when you're in guard, you pull that nice and tight anyways. What you want to do is go real deep up, try to get up by what the tag itself is. Turn, put your knee in. From here, look. From here, I'm going to take my, his arm, kind of just pull it across just a little bit here. And <clears throat> once I do that, I'm going to post my leg up real high this way. 
At this point, the orientation is going to go for an armbar. What I do is I push the head down, and I just grab the shoulder. And all I do is just pull down. And then he'll tap. It's a real basic move. Always will turn this way and face you guys. Everybody can see it from this position. Okay? So, there again, what I just said, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the collar itself, and you pull it tight because you want to get in deep. Meanwhile, you take me and you scoop it through. He feels like he's going to go this way at this particular point. So what I do is I take the arm and I pull it in. Change the momentum. As I turn my body, he thinks I'm going for an arm block. All I do is I pull my hand over the head, throw my leg up over, <laughs> grab the shoulder, and all I do is just pull down. And then he taps. And you go right back to the arm again. All right, well, that's, the, <coughs> that's the technique of the week. It's a, it's a collar choke from guard. Um, it's a pretty good move. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, we'll hope to see you another week or so. Uh, this is Coach Joe here in Ocala with uh, Team Trauma. As I said, again, my student Kyle. And you guys have a good week. We're good? There we Yo, go. for like 50 years old, man, he looks good, dude. Yeah, Joe, when Coach Josh is sitting in the gym, he, <laughs> why you still getting... He's always got that fucking toe sticking out, too. <laughs> Don't he? he? That's why he's still getting lead. Are we done, Joe? Oh, fuck, you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, what you drinking, man? Jack. Jack. Okay. Swerve Just okay. straight Jack. I think maybe it's Jeff. I don't know. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, All righty, well, so I guess... So how can we see it? We, we, you say Monday? Yes. Well, well, you can we'll actually go to the. Uh, close the show. We'll, we'll yeah, I was gonna say because you can go to riseandshinenetwork.com, right? As soon as we stop yeah. this, and and you can watch it. It's already playing, but it'll go up on YouTube for people who who are like computer illiterate, yeah. and they're like, oh, I don't know, it was YouTube. Okay, okay. that's what's up right there. Because because all I know is YouTube and like like booty. Club. What the fuck is up with that shit? No, man, I, I go on there and I'll see like 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 uh, Headbuster. He's always yeah. posting like. Like strippers.com, I'll just get on there, motherfuckers all over the place. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, my wife will come in there, what the fuck are you watching? Strippers. Uh, <laughs> wow. Headbuster wow. said it's okay to watch, so we're going to watch. Headbuster, true. He'll care, too. Yeah, he's coming on next week, so it's yeah, he, 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 he a funny dude, man. He's a good guy. All righty. Plug your wife one more time. All right, don't forget to go to kikaproductions.com. Uh, she will videotape the motherfucking shit out of anything you got. <laughs> so if you need some videotape, let her know. She'll, she'll film a video for you. I'm pretty sure you already got somebody to cover that, so. I'm you. always looking. I'm always looking okay. for anybody, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, check yeah, out her website it. if you like what she does, because uh, you know she makes movies and shit. So if you want to be, yeah. yeah. All righty. Well, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Carl Summers Uncensored. Uh, we'll